Good day to you. I'm Stevie and I'm going to take you through the fourth of Interspace Industries V6 Expert Guides. How to extend the use of the V6 system using the Splixler. The Master Q V6 has been designed to be flexible in its operation, ensuring a reliable queue is received through multiple configurations. The wired Q button XLR socket can respond to queues from up to four handsets. In order to do this, we need a Splixler. This is a Splixler. It's a simple device to allow the connection of multiple XLR connectors and to provide gender change. It has four distinct roles in one product. A male cable can be split to two male XLR sockets. A female cable can be split to two female XLR sockets. Gender can be changed from male to male or female to female. We use these for our master queue and timer systems to multiply the cable infrastructure easily. I'm going to show you how to set up the V6 to respond to queues from a second wired handset. I'm unplugging the XLR cable from the wired queue input and I'm plugging it into the Splixler. I have a second wired handset here with its own cable and I'm attaching this also to the Splixler. I'm taking a third XLR cable and attaching this to the V6 via the wired Q button and then to the Splixler. Now, when I push a back or next button, a cue is given. If you need to use up to four handsets, you can repeat the process by adding further splixlers. The total cable limit is 200 meters. I'm now going to show you how to set up the V6 to use more than one confidence lamp. The confidence lamp has a single output but can drive up to three lamps using splixlers. I'm unplugging the XLR cable from the confidence lamp output and I'm plugging it into the splixler. I'm taking a, a second confidence lamp here with its own cable and attaching this also to the Splixler. I'm taking a third XLR cable and attaching this to the V6 via the confidence lamp output and then to the Splixler. Now when I push the forward or back button a cue is given. If you need to use up to three confidence lamps, you can repeat the process by adding further splixlers. The total cable limit is 200 meters. In a situation where there's lots of interference or where the signal is reaching the limit of its range, there may be instances where it's helpful to use a second RF receiver to extend the range of the system. The V6 has a single RF connection to which two remote RF receivers can be connected using splixlers. Both of the receivers have been paired with the handsets. I'm unplugging the XLR cable from the RF receiver and I'm plugging it into the splixler. I have a second RF receiver here with its own cable and I'm attaching this also to the splixler. I'm taking a third XLR cable and attaching this to the V6 via the RF connector and then to the Splixler. Now when a queue is activated, either of the RF receivers will pick up the signal and you can see that the RF level indicator illuminates on both receivers. 
up to a combined total of 200 metres of good quality cabling can be used. For complex presentations where you need to control multiple computers in different locations, you can use two V6 units to do this. I have two V6 units in front of me with XLR cables already connected to the RF connectors. I'm going to attach both of these to a splixler. And plug in a cable that's already attached to an RF receiver. When I activate a cue, it's sent to both V6 units. Thank you for watching this expert guide. Please see other guides in this series.